Glad you could join us on this edition of Tech Trends. A domain name is compulsory if you wish to own a website. That's why our tech tips is on reasons you should use a .ng. A mobile app of the week simplifies communication and you stand a chance to win a gift on our giveaway segment if you stay with us. This is Tech Trends and I'm Chukameka Agbata. You can be miles away from your office and still be able to attend meetings and conferences with the help of this robotic device called Double. The technology startup company Double Robotics produces iPad-based telepresence robots to give a physical presence at work or school when you can't be there in person. The device uses a gyroscope and accelerometer sensors in its base and can be controlled with a desktop, tablet or smartphone. DG Nitta, Vincent Alajanji, shares his views on this new innovation and how it's going to change the way we do things. Technology is changing, it's dynamic and it's ever changing. For instance, five, ten years ago we didn't have a device like this and I can bet that in the next two years we'll have something that is better than this and that will be more effective. So in Nigeria, as, a, as, a, as an emerging economy, as a country that is just coming up in real adversity, we don't have any choice that will key into what is happening globally. More importantly, with the new technologies that are coming up, and what do we need to do to build capacity to ensure that we are, we are not left behind. The robot has a shock absorption mechanism that is built in the base to maintain lateral stability while avoiding common obstacles in an office or classroom setting. The camera kit includes a 150-degree wide-angle lens that increases the field of view by 70% on both the left and the right side. Ride-hailing service Uber is giving some Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania residents the chance to experience a vehicle that drives itself. The launch of Uber's self-driving pilot program marks the public unveiling of the company's secretive work on autonomous vehicles and the first time self-driving cars have been so freely available to the U.S. public. More than two years ago, Uber, like most in the car business, identified autonomous driving technology as the springboard for the next stage of growth. The aggressive San Francisco-based startup has already shaken up the world's taxi services, earning a valuation of $68 billion. It plans to ultimately replace many of its 1.5 million drivers with autonomous vehicles. But it's not as if robots are taking over the steel city. There will only be four self-driving vehicles available for passengers to start and two people will sit in the front to take over driving when the car cannot stare itself. About 1.3 million people die every year in car accidents. 94% of those are human error related. We strongly feel that self-driving technology can make a dent in those statistics. So Pittsburgh for us is one, home to world-class engineering and research talent, and we're trying to tap all that, but also, Pittsburgh is an ideal environment for us to be doing this type of work. Pittsburgh is an old city, it has organic road network, it has real traffic problems, it experiences extreme weather. So we really feel that Pittsburgh is the double black diamond of driving. We really feel that if people can, if we can master driving in Pittsburgh, that we can easily or at least make an effort into mastering driving in other cities around the world. Reporters observe the Uber car safely and for most parts smoothly stopping at the red lights and accelerating at green lights, travel over a bridge, move around a mill truck and slow for a driver opening a car door on a busy street, all without anybody touching the controls. But the Uber driver and the engineer in the two front seats did intervene every few miles. I think uh, if Uber scores a home run with this, it's going to be wonderful for the planet. The reason is I see a much safer world and a much more efficient world where we have to uh, use less energy to move people around. By integrating self-driving cars with its ride services app, Uber may be the first introduction to autonomous cars that many people will have. 
I hope this works here in Pittsburgh. I personally want to see more autonomous vehicles. I'm looking at the safety data, and I would like to see a reduction in deaths and crashes. I'm also looking at the opportunities for a greater independence for people with disabilities and older adults. Industry executives remain sharply divided on the timeline, with some expecting fully autonomous cars within five years, and others predicting they are still decades away. Uber's Pittsburgh fleet consists of Ford Fusion cars outfitted with 3D cameras, global positioning systems, and a technology called a leader that uses lasers to assess the shape and distance of objects mounted to the vehicle's roof. Among the residents, there are mixed responses. I think that it's a really, really cool innovation, especially at this time. But for me personally, I wouldn't feel comfortable being in a self-driving car just because I'm one of those people that won't really be able to trust. I'm sure it wouldn't be the norm for another like 10, 15 years anyway. Uh, but yeah, I think it could be a good idea. It might put some people out of jobs, but I think it's a cool concept. Pittsburgh also offers Uber a welcoming mayor and city leadership who have rolled out the red carpet for Uber and a state law that allows for autonomous cars as long as someone is behind the wheel to take over if needed. And here it is. It's the best iPhone that we have ever created. Apple unveiled its new water and dust resistant iPhone 7 with high resolution cameras with a Super Mario game coming to the new phone and Pokemon Go would feature on its upgraded Apple Watch. In spite of the new release that week, Apple stock was down 0.3%. The technology company says iPhone 7 would have one zooming 12 megapixel camera and the plus edition would feature two cameras. The worldwide smartphone market is definitely slowing down uh, and top tier companies like Apple are facing tough year over year compares because people are holding on to their phones longer. What I think Apple has done with this product is what they typically do on an off year. It's not a radical design change, it's a tick talk talk for lack of a better word and uh, they put a lot of really good technology inside this phone so I think people who have been waiting to upgrade uh, will go ahead and do so I think a lot of people will also look at the new features like waterproofness and wireless and faster processor and better graphics and say this is a phone for me but that being said I don't think it you know radically changes the fact that the smartphone market is slowing down and growth rates across the industry are dipping down into the single digits. As widely expected, the analog headphone jack has been removed. So the new it headphone supplied by Apple with design. a phone will plug into AirPods the same port as a recharging cord, but will also work experience. with Apple's new wireless you headphones called AirPods. How do you set them up? You simply Put a pair of AirPods near your iPhone and open the case. You know, I think Apple sort of neatly sidestepped the challenge there by putting the uh, lightning adapter in the box. So if you still want to use traditional headphones, including the headphones that are included in the box, uh, you can with the adapter. And then for those who want to move to lightning or wireless, uh, they've made that possible too. In a tweet that was subsequently deleted, Apple says the phones would be available in mid-September. The company typically gives its main product, which accounts for more than half of its revenue, a big makeover every other year, and the last major redesign was the iPhone 6 in 2014. The modest update suggests that this cycle will be for three years. Apple says its Apple Watch Series 2 with a swim-proof casing will be available in more than 25 countries starting from September the 16th.